Welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan, and today I'm going to check out a Buna Haben. Now, if you've seen my first Buna Haben video, you'll know that I am a huge fan. Uh, in fact, so much of a fan that uh, my family and I decided we are going to get another dog, um, perhaps in the spring. It's October 2022 as I record this. So, potentially in the spring, um, we might be getting another dog. And uh, anyways, no matter what, when we do get a next dog, whether get another dog, our next dog, whether that be this spring or some other time, the dog's name is going to be Boonahaben, and uh, either call it Boon or Bert for short, especially when running across the prairie and uh, trying to get a hold of your dog. But um, that is not what this video is about. Now, this one is Stura there, pronounced at least according to the back label, that's what that says. My Gaelic is lacking. Buna uh, you know, it's just kind of one of the greatest distiller names ever. Uh, it's an Isla distillery. This is not a peated Isla, just for the record. Uh, nor is this 12, I believe. Uh, I'm actually going to have to read this one. Um, but I believe neither of these are peated. Uh, the one I did review, uh, this one, which is, uh, trying to find here is pronounced tuk ak a -ga. of course, that's, that's what that one says. Uh, this is a peated one, which you can find that definitely worth getting absolutely excellent. So this does say that it is a blend uh, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. It's interesting that it says it's single malt, uh, but it's a blend of ages. Uh, so maybe it's a single malt in that regard. So it's the same product, just of different ages. Um, and so there's no age statement on it. Uh, let's see. It's running at uh, 40... 46.3%, which makes that, what, 92.6 per... 96 point... Sorry. 92.6 proof. Um, so no age statement. I think that's all we need to know about it. So, Isla Whiskey, one of my favorites. Uh, also one of my favorite distilleries, even though it's non-peated. Let's get into it. Let's see what this particular bottling has to offer. I just think Buna Haben has... Uh, you know, just as a whole, they got nice bottles. I like the dark bottles. I like the classic look. The colors pop. Really nice looking on the shelf and in my bar. And uh, I have not been disappointed by them. So, uh, big fan of that. Um, is this one double? The sorry, I know there's a lot of dead air space in here, but uh, so this one does say that it is uh, sherry cask aged. Um, and so on the nose, I kind of get that seasidey, briny, low tide smell up front. Um, kind of that mixed with a little bit of that earthy peatness. That's that sour note I keep talking about in the back. And by sour, it's not like off putting sour, it's just a sharper. Man, just go stand in a swamp. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But it's just that earthy peatiness, uh, not smoky. There's a little bit of sweet, maybe some dark fruit in there. But not, that's kind of covered up by that seasidey, briny, low tide smell. But it's there. It's just not dominating in the glass. <clears throat> All right, let's see what it has to offer on the palate. Very briny forward. It's kind of spicy, like back black peppery spicy throughout the whole palette. Um, some darker fruits in there. Definitely pick up some of that sherry. Again, kind of that uh, traditional brandy uh, type flavor. Dark notes, plums, raisins. Um, fairly simple palette uh, in a good way. Maybe like four notes, beginning, middle, end. Um, the sherry really brings a lot, 
Uh, I don't believe this has a ton of age on it, uh, but, you know, enough that even in Isla you can get color out of it like that. Um, I have no idea. Again, it says it's mixed age, no age statement. If I had to guess, I'd say somewhere between 5 and 10 years on the barrels. Um, but I'm not going to knock them for that. It's very well put together. Nothing spiky or dominating. It has a nice warming uh, feeling brought through the entire thing by the ethanol without actually being a ding or a lot of heat. Um, nose has not changed, man. The, the seasidey brininess, salty air, seaweed, uh, that just comes through very strong on the nose. A lot of sweet notes. That time it was like sweet forward honey that pushed into that sherry sherry flavor um and then that moved into a dark raisin um a little bit of seaside brine in there just a touch of salt uh brininess in there um and then it kind of just drifted away with a little bit of a black peppery um spice to it on the end very nice very well put together nothing mind-blowing about it uh but certainly nothing disappointing about it uh, I picked this bottle up. Uh, this one might have been one that I bought on Blackwell. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, just stick with me for a second. Well, if you're, uh, let me. <clears throat> Doesn't look like I have put this one into my list yet yes so pick this one up on blackwell's wine and spirits out in california so bought it online as a package a bunch of other whiskeys paid 48 dollars for it so out of california picked it up for 48 dollars not bad um probably do better for the price but not complaining on it at all i think that's just a lovely nice good scotch nothing wrong with it at all uh great representation of Bunahaven, um, as I believe most of their uh, scotches are not peated. I believe they're one of the few Isla distilleries that their mainline stuff is not peated, but they do several peated whiskeys. I could be talking about my butt on that one, so double check that, but pretty sure that's correct. Ooh, that was all like really, really strong, sweet butterscotch and caramel on the nose real quick, just like that. Liked it, and then it immediately hit me with uh, that raisin note. It was excellent. Yeah, just all sorts of sweet, nice, easy drinking flavors. Nothing wrong with that at all. I'm a big fan. Definitely check it out. So go ahead, drop in the comments down below what you can find a bottle of Boonenhaven uh, Stu Rader for in your area if you can find it. Or if you have any experience with it, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Um, I just got nothing bad to say about it. So go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Check us out on bitshoot.com if you haven't already. That's definitely the place to check out Life and Whiskey. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. You guys have yourselves a great day. Greatly appreciate everybody who has been checking out the videos. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.